For context, on my only up map, you can get power-ups, and I did a competition. Whoever got the best time using power-ups, as many as you want, doing anything you can, the number one world record would get $1,000. So here's the footage, and let's get it started. Seven minutes and 23 seconds. Okay, a nice little fling at the start. His choice is two grapplers, two like um, glider grapplers, and then hopfish. He's going a little crazy here. He's going to hit the... Uh, pad with the hop flish on this is a great start 15 seconds he's this high up already this is absolutely insane this is why this is the craziest only up ever now it looks like he's gonna beat level one really really quickly Ooh, into the grapple glider now the thing is the grapple glider actually makes you go higher at the sacrifice of gliding so you're not able to grapple again so this guy just finished level one in 30 less than 40 seconds and now he's going for the Egypt secret here. It's funny. I, I think he could have shaved some time here if he just went a little of a different route. Oh, the hot fish into the launch. This is going to skip most of this level. <laughs> this is going to skip basically all of this level. Can he hang on to that? He can't. Oh my gosh. He could have saved some time here. He's going off that. And then off the gold pile. He's going to have to use another one to get onto the boat. Okay. Okay. Up this guy goes. He's got... Look at his inventory. He's stacked. Absolutely stacked. Now he's falling down. I think the strat here is the more you fall down, the higher up you go, maybe? I honestly don't know. This is wild. Okay. I think he may not have got the full hopfish effect there. Which is kind of sad because he would have gone... A line. Is he going to pop another hopfish here? Oh, he's going to actually parkour a little bit. Okay. Okay. Do you think? He just wanted to run it. The longer the grapple, the higher... The longer the grappler, the higher the pull. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's taking Japan a little bit slow here. I thought he'd use, utilize the hopfish more, but I think he's probably... Oh. Wow, that's a big fling there. Oh, so if you shoot it quick enough, it actually doesn't do the grapple effect. Well, that's interesting. Oh, and he left a hop fish up here. I don't even know how he did that. I made the map. I don't even know how he did that. Oh my goodness. And then he hits the blower. The blower takes him all the way up to the air hockey table. And he is nearly only three minutes into the run. And he's almost at New York. Oh my goodness. He's going to take the elevator up. Isn't that insane? That's actually crazy. Ooh. That's so scary. Especially when you're going for a world record. Okay. He's going up. And he goes to the blower here. He's over 2,000 meters up. And he continues here. Is he going to utilize the building to go up further? He is with a nice grapple. It looks like it goes to the space, but I think that's just a visual bug because it actually didn't take him that high up. And then he misses. Okay. Scary. He's only got a bit more grapplers left. Switchy targets last moment to not fall. That is insane. Okay. The hopfish is going to run out at any moment. He's got to be careful here. And it runs out right there. He's going to use his uh, glider here. Switches to the other grappler just in time and slides over for the space rocket to space. There we go. From 2,400 meters. Love this cutscene. This is one of my favorite things that we've ever done. Oh my goodness. I love it. How epic is this cutscene? Can we get a W cutscene? No other only up map would do this. We go to freaking space, baby. And your meters go all the way up. Like a nice little journey through space. Best cutscene in UEFN. Until the unthinkable happens. Oh, gosh! The wing gets ripped off. We crash onto the moon. Okay. Homie is not taking any time to relax, to repair his wounds. He is... Honestly, zooming in the space level. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. 
He's taking a unique path here. Ooh, that is so smart. You see, I never actually tested the map for power-ups. But I just knew people were going to come up with a crazy, crazy combo. Like a crazy, crazy combo. So, he's five minutes into this run. Absolutely insane. Like, this is a bonkers run. World record speed run right here. With power-ups. And he's going to play it right onto the... Wow. This is actually so scary. Interesting grapple there. I feel like... I feel like, you know, if somebody ran this a couple more times, they could get it even more down pat. But this is the victor, man. This is the number one record, right? And he goes off the freaking planet. He's got seven grapples left total. Falling in between the space station. He's a little panicky here. All that panic was worth it because he's winning $1,000. And he is moving and grooving. Onto the Star Wars reference laser beams. There we go. He's got five more grapples. He may not even need most of them. <gasps> he jumps onto the moving spaceship. And he's running with it. He jumps off. Okay. Now he's going to hit the geyser thing. Geyser thing doesn't seem to take him much higher. Oh, I think his hop fish is off, actually. Every second counts here. He knows he's near the end, so he's just absolutely booking it using everything he's got. Oh my gosh. And then right here, what is he going to do here? Is he going to use the last grappler or no? He's just going for it. How how much would your heart be racing? You know this is the world record. And you just got to... Oh my gosh. That was way too close. I purposely made the hitbox on the wormhole very small. And he almost missed it. He's going to hit this here. And like that, in under eight minutes... The superpower speedrun is complete. And this right here is your winner. Congrats to Zenisty for getting the best world record run on the power up version of the only up map. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and check up the $15,000 winner, all right? This guy is actually a speedrunner, uh, like a death run speedrunner, and he really shows his chops here. This is going to blow your mind. No power ups, no cheats. This is the world record run, earning this guy $10,000. First of all, first of all, let me go ahead and up the quality. Second of all, this dude just actually jumped off the Stegosaurus. I've never seen that. I never even thought of that. That was a W move right there. And now he's off to the races. He is zooming. Okay. You know, this is a path I would normally take, which is nice. It's nice to see that. And this is all normal here. I'm curious if he skips all the way to the pillar. He does. He does. I knew it. Now, people would always ask this guy for advice because he absolutely crushed it. And um, he actually said that uh, all you got to do is remember to keep on sprinting. So 10K. This is for $10,000 here. Nice big jump. Now, I'm pretty sure he has to do something nifty with the vents. Well, let's see it. Ooh! What? That's actually so good. I mean, that saves him probably like 20 seconds each vent. He's still ahead. By the way, this guy's world record is ahead of the second person by like two or three minutes. It's absolutely insane. Everything that you see here, he trained day after day, hour after hour. He played this map so much and you could see him cutting corners on everything. What you're watching, what you're watching is a perfected only up run. Like, literal perfection. I don't know how much more he could shave the time down. This may be the best record. I, I, I don't know. I challenge you guys out there to beat him. I have never even seen that jump. This is insane. Like, this is actually bonkers. He is doing things that me, as the creator of the map, didn't even think of. Wow. He even took that differently. How does he do this here? <sighs> yep. I used to do that, but I thought maybe he was a little slower, but I guess not. Wow, great jumping here. And he's going to take it home. And it's going to be about, I'm going to say 2 minutes 20. Wow! Oh, snap! Oh, my gosh! 
That's insane! Two minutes, 16. And he's in Egypt. And he is zooming. Mantles onto the lily pad. Risky. What? He's like doing a slide hop? These are things I've never seen before. A slide hop off the pyramid. Onto the vent. And he does his little trick again. Dude. What? Onto the tire? This may be the craziest only up run of all time. This is absolutely insane. Wow. What the heck? Oh my, the movement. The absolute sheer and utter movement. I'm, I'm mind blasted right now. I'm actually mind blasted. This is utterly insane. This is literally utterly insane. What the heck? Does he do anything differently here? I doubt it. I think he has to run the course as usual. Nice little skip, though. He comes up here. A little side jump action, okay. I think it's business as usual here to level three. Is he gonna jump on the gold coins? He is. That is smooth. Okay, he's got three minutes and 40 seconds. He prepares himself by getting on the edge of the boat here. What's the benefit? What? What the heck? Okay, the, the flinging up in the air, I don't think was intentional. That also lost him like a second. But I think he maybe gained a second by uh, jumping off the boat. Okay, business as usual. This is the exact run I would take here. Here's probably where he switches it up. He 180s and just jumps up. Oh my goodness. Homie is a grinder. For $10,000, wouldn't you? It was worth the grind for him, 100%. He hits the vent all nice. It actually, this time, doesn't take him that far. This one only gives him about a 5 to 10 second boost. But I mean, you know, when $10,000 is online, you gotta look for every boost that you can. Onto the origami. And he's probably not even gonna slow down here. Everybody slows down here on the tigers. Or these are lions, rather. He's like wiggling his camera. He does not slow down. He's not slowing down. Okay, surely he has to slow down on this next part. Surely he has to slow down on this next part. He doesn't even slow down. He goes fast. He slow. He slowed down. See? He everyone slows down out there. But then he continues. And he goes berserk. Okay, I never even thought about doing that. Dude, I made this map. This guy's way better than me. That's insane. Oh, that little 180 jump has saved him so much time. Wow. Wow. Wh what? What? What is that? I have never seen anyone do that. I have legit never seen anyone do that. I didn't even design it to be like that. What? This dude earned it, even just from this. And we're not even halfway through the run. What the heck? He's going crazy on the... On the Rubik's Cube pieces. Holy smokes. I could put up a world top five record. I could not beat this guy. I don't think I could. This guy is just too good. Too freaking good. Backwards! Backwards! There's st somebody check this guy's PC. Holy smokes. This is truly awesome. You have to play this map. Play this map, try to beat it, and then rewatch this to appreciate how insane this is. This man has earned the $10,000. Holy. Take a little ski ball. He's taking risks too, taking a lot of risks. What is he doing here? I've never seen it. You can jump up to the third one. Oh my goodness. What the flippity flop. Now he's going on the Tetraminos. He's going fast on them. This was a new addition when I added the space level. He almost got mantle bug there. And then he's just riding the VHS tape. He's going to New York. There you go. He's probably going to jump on top. Most people do if they're speed running. There you go.
Okay, up to New York he goes. He's here in seven minutes and 20 seconds. Jumps off the elevator, full speeds the signs. I actually developed this map so you can speed run that part. And this part, and he's taking the exact speed runs I designed, and that is making me a happy man. He's also speed running the uh, traffic lights. What? That is so risky. I mean, all this stuff is so tiny at this point. What? <laughs> He's next. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> what? Oh my. Yeah, he's going to jump right up. Nice. Okay. I tried to make it so you couldn't do that, and he figured out a way to do it. Beautiful jump here. He's going to be landing on the scaffolding. Oh, no, he landed on the actual beam. That's a really, really good jump there. Almost fell down there. That would have been so tragic. Wow. Wow. No. No! What? <laughs> This is just insane. This is actual insanity. Literally insanity. What's he gonna do here? He doesn't even go up through the elevator. He doesn't care. This man invented time. He is speed. I, I'm legit dumbfounded as well. I, I... Does he do anything different here? Homie uses the lily pads. Oh! I put those in to troll people. He used them to extra speed. This is wild. What? Oh! Jumped off the tower part? I never intended that. What? Nah, this guy is... I want to hand deliver him the cash. $10,000 in cash. I have never seen anyone run any only up map like this guy has. And that's why I want to run this competition. Giving $15,000 to you guys, part of the community. Anybody could have entered this tournament. And out of everybody in the world, this is who absolutely dominated it. And I mean it by over two minutes, I believe. Zooming. Zooming. Okay, so he beat New York essentially in 10 minutes. Which is staggering. Absolutely staggering. Okay, so now he gets to take a break for a second. He gets to take a break for a second here. Because the uh, spaceship takes off. Okay. Second place was literally two minutes and one second behind him. These times are all verified. The guy who got second place was actually the guy who got first place in the power-up run. Which is kind of insane. So think about that. So now, what do you think he's doing? Do you think he's like stretching his fingers out? He's like, okay, okay. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, absolutely slammed by the asteroid. Boo it! Boo it! Okay. Okay, he's zooming. He takes the right path. I never even tested the right path. Honestly, I was like, you have to go this side. And then he does go to this side. Wow. That's my little space, dude. There's no sound space. So that's why I didn't include any audio. Yes, he took it. That's what I, that's what I made that for. I'm so glad. Wow. Okay. Onto the Rover. Nice jump. Almost falls there. That would have been traumatic. But even if he fell there. He would need to spend two minutes just licking his own paws for the second guy to catch up. Now that's wild. What is that? I didn't know you could do that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Absolutely insane. Holy smokes. Now, here's where things are going to get interesting, because there's a lot of paths up here. Oh, he... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> that was so sick. That was so sick. Oh, he nailed this. Oh, he's going crazy. 
the sheer and utter confidence here. Oh? Whoa. What is this? What? That, this is bonkers right here. The, I'm actually, I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. From the ladder straight to the solar panel. Dude is cooking. He is cooking. Legitimately cooking. Right path always faster. And he is running amok right now. Running away with the competition. This is a scary part. Because like the uh, ring of the planet is just zooming. He is tackling it. No problem at all. Onto the satellites. There's not much more to go. Nice jump there. Great mantle. Is he going to do a little skip here? I wonder. Oh, he's going right to the laser beams, but he's... He's timed it perfectly. He's literally timed it perfectly. And just absolutely nails it. Wow. Goodness gracious. I'm, I'm legit flabbergasted. And I don't know if he timed it. I don't think he timed it getting onto here, but... He's going to have to know when to jump off here. He freaking knew the timing. He knew the timing when to jump off of it. Then he jumps over it. Wow. You could tell this guy ran it hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Hits that with such speed. He's still got the speed going. It looks like he's got a speed boost. All the way up here. He's got one more jump. Standing in the way between him and $10,000. I am confident our boy makes it. Wow. A little nifty speed jump there. Into the final little bouncer thing. And that's what it is. $10,000 in the bank. How do you think he felt completing this run? Dude. Congratulations, man. Congrats. He's waving. He knows. He knows. He knows. He's the winner. He knows. Tiger Aura winning $10,000. Zenist winning $2,000. Dume FNR winning $1,000. And then we have Zenist adding another $1,000 to his prize because he won the power up run. And then we have that honey dude winning $1,000. Uh, for finding all 100 coins first. So big shout out to everybody who participated. Yeah, definitely go check out the map and let me know if you guys want to see more tournaments like that because I like the ones where everyone could win. I think that's really cool.